might uh, assist you. He might be here to say, uh, Bye. action. Dad. Hello. <laughs> right. Hello. <laughs> right, action. Action. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are in Home Village. This is where all the action is going to be in a couple of weeks' time. There'll be no room to swing a cart, never mind sit and swing. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to now show you what the village has been doing since the last time we spoke to you. What's that? Uh, what has happened, they have been given. I say given, it's probably not given, we're paying it through the rates. <laughs> Bunting to put up on the buildings to make the village look pretty. But didn't you didn't you didn't you didn't you buy some? We bought some, but Kirkley's and then they give it you. Yeah. They've got to give us it. <laughs> so we've got to see if we can get a refund on our uh, uh, council tax. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, my artistic director is now going to film some of the bunting that has been put up in the village. I am signing off for now and leaving you in the capable hands of my artistic director. Got to follow for swing. Who? No, fall off the swing. Fall off the swing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fall off. How old do you think it is that? Well, it must be 400 years, well, 300 and some, mustn't it? What's it about? I have a clue. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's a Stonehenge thing that never made it to Stonehenge. Well, it's a bit out of way up here, isn't it? Well, it is, isn't it? But uh, I suppose the transport they had in them days, it was a bit of long haul, like, wasn't it? <laughs> they saw the from here to there. What? From here to there. There's some bunting behind you, look. Bunting behind me. Right, when you're ready, action. Uh, behind me is some bunting, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this has been supplied free by the Kirklees Council. Well, they say it's been free, the council tax has been up next year. <laughs> so, uh, uh, and this is a dog explosion zone. What's that mean? It doesn't mean you can't have your dog, but you can have your dog, but you can't go in there because it's a swing path for children and they don't want dog poo all over the place. What, green dogs? Well, I've never seen a green dog, but <laughs> I don't understand what that means. I mean, if they're thinking, Kirk Lees could tell us what a green dog means. I don't know. It's pretty pleased, it is. All right, right. Right, let's, what? Let's go through the village then. Through the village, okay, right, ladies and gentlemen. That's at road. Huh? You're in Midlock Road. Yeah. Still, somebody comes down the bike and knocks you over, but well, go on. I... Go on, action. Action, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Use the microphone properly. Here, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in the middle of the square of Home Village. Since the last time we spoke to you, Kirk Lee's put all this wonderful... Well, Kirk Lee's hasn't put it up. The residents have put Dad, this, there's a car coming. The residents has put the bunting up. Um, and it makes the village look rather pretty. It's a shame it's going to be spoiled by... 60,000 people trailing up and down here. I can't hear you. And a lot of people... <laughs> have Hey! Sorry about the noise, but you can edit that, can you? Yeah. <laughs> you can edit that, okay. Right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I think that's all we can Dad, see. Dad, just to let you know, here look, we've had some uh, readers, or oh, not view viewers, write in with some questions there. Right. We might want What's to read that. Want to see the... We'll have some questions from some viewers, some uh, devotees of the town camp. Question from Mildred Buttershaw from Bolton, age 76. I was very interested on your piece regarding uh, the transmitter. Is there a lift to the top? and does the 310 bus stop outside? There isn't a lift to the top, there's a ladder. Uh, the Must be a long ladder. Well, yeah. Um, and the, the 310 bus doesn't stop outside. Sorry, Mildred. But never mind, sweetheart. You know, <laughs> that's how things are. OK. Right. right, let's move on. Move on. Where are we going? Down the road. Down the road? Yeah. Or up the road? Mm, um, you choose. Uh, um, we'll go down the road and we'll show you a legacy of the Latour de France's impact on this little sleepy village. <laughs> Point out the, the road. What's going to happen up this road? 
Well, the bikes will be coming up. Well, obviously, but... They built a new wall. I thought you got to take that, show them that new wall. Well, it's only a wall, isn't it? It's not... Eh? You know... What? A wall's a wall, really. No, but it wasn't there before. I mean, same action, or... Right, yeah, action. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. More or less in the entrances to the village. From Fieldhead Lane back this way, and from Home Bridge <sighs> and Winter that way. Yes. And um, you come up here and you see this sign. If uh, my artistic director could just visual on that sign, it says Yorkshire Yurt. A what? Yurt. As in, as in hurt? It's uh, apparently a yurt is a stunningly decorated felted yurt. It's like a big tent, really. <laughs> And it says here it's all happening in the home village centre. Yeah, um, where's but, that? But it doesn't actually tell us where it is in the home village centre. We've been looking for it, we can't see it. But there is a bar, an Hello. entertainment daily, 10 o'clock in the morning, so all you drinky boys can come up and have a drink at 10 o'clock in the morning till 10 at night, and the family barbecue. The only problem is we don't know how to get there. Where is it though? Uh, what? Where is it? Well, we don't know because it doesn't tell us. What? <laughs> Tell us where it is, it just says... It says it's in the centre. centre. And we've just been at well, the home village centre. how big is home village? Not that big. Well... And you would think you'd be able to see a big stunningly decorated felted yurt in the square. And can you? No. Well, we well, don't know where it is. Let's it, go find it. It'll be a good do if we can find it, won't it? <laughs> Sign me off. Right, action. action. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Come out here a bit. You still, you still all you can see is a... All you can see is an edge. What we'll go over here, ladies and gentlemen, is the local pub, the Fleece. Surely is the landlady, and it's a wonderful cuisine and food and drink. Watch the road, watch the road. And behind me, my director is saying, watch the road. Behind me is the oldest property in the village called Charity Farm. Which is all decked up. Watch the road. Watch the road, traffic here. It's all decorated up for the Tour de France, and you can see the pub has been wonderfully decked up as well. Quick, quick. I've been told by my director, we've got to be quick because we're running out of film time. It's a question from Mary O'Mary from Dublin, age 59. God bless you for telling us your age, Mary. Have you ever been to Dublin? Uh, yes, I worked at a hotel in the city about seven years ago, and your face looks familiar. Did something happen with you? Room key. Yes, it did, Mary. Very observant, Mary. I locked myself out. It wasn't a room key, it was a swipe card. I had a bit of too much of the brown black stuff for Guinness, and I locked myself out. Yeah, but how, how did you do to it? The toilet. You thought you were going to the toilet, but I you was going to the toilet, and I ended up out in the corridor, and I couldn't get back into my room, and I had to go down to reception naked <laughs> to get another swipe card, and there was no. I have one thing about chip advisor, there is no, there was no magazines available on any floor down to the reception. No? So Mary, thank you for your question, I'm signing off now, goodbye. Right, goodbye. what's the next one? We're going to go down to Home Firth. What? We're going to down to Home Firth, I would see how, how it's yes, we're getting on down there. Yes, we're going to Home Firth, which is uh, famous for last of the summer wine. Watch out. And compo and traffic. Straight from Bloody Road. No, I've got to sign off ladies and gentlemen, Tam Cam signing off, goodbye. What? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Oh dear, never mind. Rock and roll people. What are you doing? I thought you were running out of time. I've got some more time. <laughs> no, we can't, we can't think of anything more to say. No, I've, I've, I've run out of... Uh, Come on. I've run out, I've run out of enthusiasm. Come on. And, and, uh, Just, uh, take uh, uh, it. Spont spont what do they call it? Who? Spontaneity. Spontaneity. Action. <laughs> Action. Here we go. We're walking down out to home first. Last of the summer wine. No. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, post. I've just bumped into a concrete post. Uh, my, my artistic director never showed me, told me there was something there. Right. I've not bruised myself. I will be signing for damages forthwith. Um, health and safety. No one tells me I've got to go and be checked out by a doctor. Goodbye. Signing off. Je suis un flash